Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to Civ 5, I'm Ursa Ryan and we are currently fighting Byzantium's as Morocco. We have, I mean I, I, just to put the scale of the game into context, we started over here in Marrakesh and the sort of northwestern part of, uh, of, of Africa, we spread, we spread, we spread, we spread, we came up against France, we killed France, we spread, we spread, we spread, we spread, we came up against uh, Portugal, we killed Portugal, we spread, we spread, we spread, we found Germany, we killed Germany, we spread. <laughs> We spread. We found Poland. Killed Poland. We now found Byzantium. Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's an amazing scaled game. I mean, look at this. You, you just go under the economic overview and you can just see just how many cities I've got here. Um, what's my worst city? I mean, we've got a few. I mean, look at all the plus size tens. Uh, we've got a few size five, but these are sort of recently taken over ones. Cologne, Hamburg. Actually, to be honest, I could be doing with uh, getting. Um, courthouses in those but uh, for now we'll, we'll sort of hang on to them just for a bit so in terms of the battleships these guys can't really help out anymore um, I mean I could, I could get one battleship here and that can just about reach and see that city the rest can go after Niso Media over in this direction over here um, that's the best that we can do with them really um, which is fine um, I don't mind that really it's sort of we can't do anything because we've been so good it's, it's a good problem to have if you see what I mean um, so we'll start attacking this city here. You can see here again. We can't actually see the damn place but That's all right. Um, we'll move our battleship in a little bit Like that um, Now so we'll do an attack there good Attack and kill that cannon that could be a little bit of a problem later, so we won't let that happen Then we did take the city Okay, you attack there. good right you heal yourself mr. Destroy you've earned it um, battleship, let's just kill these anti-aircraft guns here. What are these yet, yeah, anti-aircraft guns? And then battleship, again, there's not much for you to do at the moment, so we'll just move you out a little bit. Um, and we'll just sort of move you down into here, see if you can spot anything. No, you can't. Fine. Okay, so this is going to be the interesting one. We need to clear all of the troops as quickly as we can so that the tank has good access in. Um, but we don't want the tank to get attacked, so the tank you heal yourself up here. Rocket artillery can move and fire, so we'll take advantage of that. We'll uh, hit these guys there. Good. Um, I mean, to be honest, let's just focus on killing all of these troops first. I think is the best thing we can do. Like that, good. as far forward as you can get get yourself into the sea good artillery yeah I could do with two more actually so here we go these two have upgraded now good you wait there mr. general and uh, anti-aircraft gun I need you just alert stay safe stay strong artillery you've positioned yourself on that hill nicely now as have you good now you can fire at this next city over there uh, great general that's fine Artillery. Just make your way over here. Cargo ships have been starting to be finished now. Here we go. Truro. Gold. Good. This will make a huge difference to our gold income. Uh, artillery. Again, just wait near the battleships for now. Good. Happy with this so far. It's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. How many turns? Uh, Okay, four turns until we can finish uh, the order. We'll get a level three order policy. That'll let us have courthouses for three. That's something we want to wait to do, actually. That's um, that's that's good. That's really powerful. Constantinople, size 37 city. Wow. Now that is a strong old city. Again, look, the air defense just keeps retreating. I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain at all. That's fine. Right, now these guys can advance and they can then shoot the city, so we'll do that. Bang. Give it something to think about. 54 damage. Um, these guys can't move and, and fire because of that hill, so I'm just going to let them attack there. This tank. I'm going to move around here. There we go. So now he can attack from a different direction. So just at least see what's going on from a different direction anyway. Um, this battleship can take care of that artillery. Good. These artillery can fire at the city. Give them something to think about. Well, actually, this one can upgrade itself. Ha ha ha. Splendid. Um, here we go. 
Okay, I'll tell her it again. We're kind of getting to the point where I can't actually move any of these about. Actually, yeah, I can. That guy can come to that. There you go. Fortification. Bang. 52. Another 50. Something. Is he on there? Is that Byzantium troops? It is a Byzantium troop. Hang on. That's annoying. It didn't actually show it to me. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, there you go. Shoot him. Bang. It's an artillery. Fair enough. We can live with that, to be honest. Artillery aren't exactly the strongest, are they? There you go. You land that. Good old uh, helicopter outside. Hope you guys are enjoying that. Real immersive fighting, this. With all of the London helicopters getting involved. Um, here we go. Bang. 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 Yeah, splendid. And then I think we should be able to get our destroyer to come in. And steal a bit of gold whilst it's doing it. Yeah, 130 gold. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to pop up the city. Splendid. Nice. So I get 100% of the gold when I attack a city with it. That's really cool. Stock exchange. That's fine. Uh, Fez, what are you doing these days? Um, you know what? Cost of upgrading military units. That just should have got the Pentagon ages ago, actually. That's a, that's a pretty good one. Uh, that would have saved us a lot of gold. A lot of gold, indeed. Amphitheater. Uh, Amphitheater. Infant Scott. What are going to do with you? I'm going to move you across to here. Artillery. Yeah, you wait there. Good. You move to that. Awesome. Anti-aircraft gun. I'll just keep the for out. Tank. Um, yeah, actually, I could get you involved. That's fairly useful. Put you this side just to give uh, the city to, uh, something to think about. Uh, I hope I don't lose that tank, actually. It might have been a really stupid move. That I don't know. We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Greece is denouncing me. Good. It's about time it took me seriously. Now what I'm hoping is I'm hoping that Byzantium will garrison a load of their air units in the city when I destroy it because it'll, it'll, I'll end up destroying all of the air units at the same time. It means I won't have to fight them inevitably when we get to Constantinople, which is likely. Um, let's see what happens. Did they move them over? Bang. Oh, something was killed. My artillery was killed. Alright, we don't mind losing artillery to be honest because they they need to be upgraded or lost. Um, so I'm fine. Artillery, yeah. You can get a rocket. You can get a rocket as well. Good. Um, okay, cool. So we've got inventory going along here. Now you see it's a good thing we moved our it's a very good thing I moved my tank to here because I can't actually get round now. Because of the way that these um, inventory have moved themselves about. Here we go. I tell her a tree from there. Tank, I'm going to move you forward. Wow. I can try and yeah. It's fine. You move yourself forward. Oh, fine. I'm not going to do anything for me. Bang. Volley. Okay, no, he can't do anything now. Rocket artillery, you finish him off. Good. Tank, take the city. There we go. Puppets. Awesome. Um, now, we've got a few attacks in which to deal as much damage to these inventory as we can. Uh, specifically inventory that can hurt my artillery. So, that one is a priority. We take down that, yeah, that guy. Great. These land ships can die. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, you tank, you move to that, good yourself around. Opera house. Good. Splendid. Opera house again. Again, we're just keeping our culture as high as it can get it with all of these buildings. Um, okay, we have our great general around. Battleships. What are these guys going to do now? Um, there's nothing for them to do. It's kind of sad. Actually, no, that's a lie. These guys can attack this uh, land ship over the top there. There you go. Bang. Dead. Um, 
It's almost worth attacking Poland. But Poland are still giving me quite a large chunk of gold per turn off their peace treaty. How long is that peace treaty going to last for? That's going to be the question. Um, home diplomacy, deal history. This deal ends on turn. 3, 7, 8. Oh, God. So they're giving me gold for ages and ages, Poland. That's not bad, actually. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do then. I could take on Denmark. I could take on these little cities on Denmark. Yeah, Denmark don't actually have that much in the way of uh, resistance. Yeah. Let's kill these Denmark cities. I mean, as I was saying, the, the majority of the Denmark territory is up to the north, so they can't actually send that much in the way of resistance down to me, so easy pickings for me. We'll start a sort of Mediterranean empire up. Right, here we go. Attack. Good. Bang. You fool. You have made a terrible mistake. I'm pretty sure I haven't, but never mind. It's all good. Uh, let's bring this Admiral up close. I've got to give my battleship something to be shooting at. That's the thing. If they don't have anything to shoot at, then they're just sort of sitting there being useless. And that, that's not good. Um, cool. Right. Just make land. Make land, not war. Good, anti-aircraft gun, it's fine. That appears to have been retained as Byzantium territory, this little uh, little tile there. Not sure why. It seems like a sort of uh, tile that I should have been given, but never mind. Um, oh, Byzantium Beethoven in that direction. My god. Right. We'll build a battleship and we'll go over and uh, fight it in a second. Okay, good. My religion is still giving me research labs, which is positive for me. Um, it's got to the point now, actually, where my, my army is big enough, really, to be... I don't need to upgrade many more units of it just for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of go into science focus just for a little bit. In order to... Uh, just boost and get all of these latter game technologies. Um, once we've got things like the Pentagon, we should be able to upgrade our units a bit cheaper. I'm just aware that we're beginning to fall a little bit behind now with these big attacks. So, anti aircraft guns. Oh, bless them. They're, they're all attacking the city. I've just taken. Oh my god, they're attacking the city and almost winning it back. My god. Credit to them. Credit to them. Okay, right. Um, so, Marrakesh. Here we go. We're going to go to science focus now. 2272. Let's see what differences make, shall we? La, 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 la. I like not looking at it whilst I'm doing this. 2272. I'm really hoping it's made a bit of a substantial difference now. We'll see anyway, won't we? 272. Oh, wow. Massive bonus. Okay, cool. Um, the thing is, though, is that we have lost a little bit of gold per turn now because of our sheer huge building maintenance we've got going along here um hmm what are we gonna do what are we gonna do uh i'll go backwards and we'll just add to gold focus just for a little bit until we're out of the black out of the red back into the black oh it's completely missing the bit there we go Okay, that'll do for now. Alright. Good, satellites in two turns, that's good. Hopefully I should be able to show you the map looking as splendid as that uh, before we end the episode. Fingers crossed. Amphitheater. Good. Uh, stock exchange. Good. What am I going to do with you? Amphitheater again. Right, Scott. right now. Can we destroy the interlopers in our city? I say interlopers, we're kind of interloped into them, but never mind. Tank, pang. Right, that's one of them done. Um, this inventory can be barraged by multiple rocket artillery. Artillery specifically used for killing buildings are going to be used to kill this poor inventory squadron. Seems a bit harsh, a bit, a bit like overkill, but um, we, we don't mind that really. It's fine. 
Okay, resistance is pretty much gone now. Get that tank to go to that. You heal yourself up. You heal yourself up. Splendid. Now, anti aircraft gun. Wait on the border as a mobile surfaced air missile launcher. Good. It's much better. Right now, these battleships again, we can make our way north. I'm tempted to take out some of these city-states as well, just to make a, um, a diplomacy victory a little bit harder for Greece. I'm just aware that Greece actually does have more votes than we want to let it have. Um, so yeah, killing some of these city-states that are allied to Greece would not be a bad move. Bogta, not an issue. Zanzibar, for instance, is the sort of place I could actually think about killing, um, which I might do actually. Oh my god, loads of stuff have been pillaged. What's going on here? Uh, it's just that I think that could have been me actually, couldn't it? No mind. Um, so, frigates. You know what? We'll get you involved. Why not? Actually, no, we don't need to do that with you. Let's kill that. Good. Done. Take on them. Bang. Byzantium's battleship is no more. Splendid. Right. Do this attack. One, two, three, four. Destroyer comes in. Five. Puppet City. Splendid. Good, good, good. Right. Um, and then you wait there. I should have probably waited one turn. Reason is, is that we're going to get our next order policy in one turn. So, I should, yeah, I should have waited. But never mind. Okay, building our army, Get it's getting closer and closer. Worker, you just automate, do what you want. Cool. Right. We'll show, yeah, we'll, we'll do one more turn just so that you guys can see the, see the, uh, the satellite screen, I think. Yeah, let's do that. It'll be good to show you the map. I mean, I love high player maps just for their complexity. Wow, my city was just bombarded by triplanes repeatedly. My city of Vara was hit by 149 damage just by one fighter. My god. That's fine though, with, as long as there's no melee troops, they won't be able to finish it. They're just sort of. I don't know, it's just sort of. A, they're just refusing to back down. And we, yeah, we've got to give them credit for that. Here we go. Um, so, uh, we are going to go order. And we are going to go uh, free courthouse upon city capture. Internal trade routes give us more. I'm hoping. Does that mean we've got a free courthouse here now? No. It hasn't retrospectively given them to us. That's uh, a problem. But, but actually, you know, this is really good because we can now annex cities immediately. Because we've got a free courthouse in them. So, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not fussed. I'm not worried about that. It's good. So, um... As I said, the major task for us now is dealing with Byzantium. So, actually, you know what? What tanks? Come on, you guys can heal by plundering. Om nom 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 nom. Uh, Poland, these workers are going to have to get lost quickly. No, you know what? Actually, this tank you can heal. Oh, I've got an airport in that city. How quaint. Um, ooh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Hang on. Battleship, you just come and finish this guy off. Good. Let's get onto the railroad here. There we go. Like this. Right. Move our Sam. You move to that. Go to here, good. Take down my artillery. Um, in fact, actually, no, hang on. I want to be able to see the city. Do a bit of damage to it. Scare off that air defense. Bang. Yeah, okay, I want to shoot over the top. This is the problem. Right, take down those workers quickly. Um, hmm. Yeah, you move 
picture there. Still can't see it. Why can't I? Oh, it's because it's artillery. Yeah, fair enough. Um, oh dear. I need some sort of land troop. But my tanks, I don't want to get them involved. Um, hmm. Never mind. Right, you move to that. Good. Just attack all of the inventory units that we can. Just if it's if it stops them just for a turn or two, that's all we need really. Um, now we don't want to move to that. Good. Choose a production. Amphitheatres. Let's keep those going. You know what? Hydro plants at this point. I mean, I've got enough gold coming in. I've got enough aluminium. That wouldn't be such a bad thing to do. Right, you wait there. Denmark have a aircraft carrier. Now that is a bit worrying. Aircraft carrier normally mean large amounts of sort of jets and fighters and generally things that make you a little bit worried. Go. Okay, so keep on moving these guys up north. Looks like Denmark don't have much more in the way of resistance for me. Just a little bit of a shame, but never mind. Destroyer, here we go. One additional attack per turn. That's not ideal. I really want some sort of like healing whilst moving. Give you extra movement. Extra visibility. Actually, that won't be a bad move. Yeah, let's give you extra visibility. Fighter! Aha! What's read base? Alt R. Right. How far can we get over? To Casablanca. Fine. We'll make you better at interception. Lots better at interception. Mobile Sam, you wait there. Good. Cargo ship. Another one done. Can we get to Biblos? Yeah, we can. There you go. Just a bit more gold coming in. Battleship. Okay, good. Yeah, Greece is going to be the problem. Denmark lost its capital to Greece. Oh, oh, scary times. Scary times indeed. Well, there we go. Right, satellites are about to be finished. And we'll end the episode here, but I did I did just want to show you guys the, uh, the map. Um, the city of Varna, lots of different people have been destroyed. Yeah, look, the city gets repeatedly hit again by those aircraft, but fine. I mean, we should be doing a bit of uh, retribution damage to them. Oh, wow, look, they're chucking their units forward now. So, uh, defense against us. There we go. Welcome. The era. Welcome to Information Era. And let's take a look at the map, shall we? So, let's start with what we know. So, here we go. Constantinople, they have four cities left. Um, and they're pretty valiantly fighting against us. But our rocket artillery are going to walk over them very soon. Poland, um, again, it should be a bit harder to take than um, Byzantium because they've been a bit more warlike through the, the whole of the game, really. But that should be good. Um, the Roman Empire actually has more cities than I thought, but still, nowhere near the Greek game, if you remember. They were huge in the Greek game. Austria, they've been bullied a bit, haven't they? So they've just about clung on to all of these. Um, they do still have lints up here, but to be honest, they're, I mean, they're not doing as badly as Russia, though. Russia are under the cough a little a little bit um the remnants of the celts that still exist in the game i'm impressed i'm very impressed here and england so england have taken quite a lot of territory you can see they took nantes so that was from france i'd imagine um is that it could be no yeah might have been or is it no nantes is a celtic one isn't it yeah sorry um Egypt are doing fairly well. Look at that. They've got some big population, actually. Phoebe's 30. 30 population. Let's take a look at England. So this was the English Isles up here, or kind of the sort of randomly generated English Isles. Actually, look, there's not much going on. I didn't realise, but um, Carthage have, have made the way over to there. Venice, doing fairly well. Oh, God, Venice were screwed over by England there. Terrible. Um, and Venice actually haven't bought out a single city-state. That's kind of unusual. Uh, this is why England had just the sheer amount of population it did. Look at that. 30 population in three cities and plus 20 in the rest, mostly. 
Very nice indeed. Cartage, um, Quebec are having a little scrap still. Seville, I think this is uh, sort of the, the remnants of the Spanish Empire somewhere around here. Can't see it really. Oh, it was Spain over here actually. Yeah, here it was. Oh, fair enough. Um, Sweden, doing okay at the top here. Um, Denmark getting along nicely in the middle. There we go. It's a map. It's a cool one, isn't it? I mean, complicated. I mean, you can see just on the map now just the scale of my empire and how good it is. Um, and just how vulnerable I would be if anyone... Actually, I'm not too vulnerable, but if they were to attack this side of me, I, I don't think I'd have the same sort of defence. But, um, but it leads me to think that England wouldn't be as easy to take as I thought. Um, London is actually very well defended, so battleship-wise, we couldn't get many in there. And I suspect they've probably got nukes and the like along uh, now, so... There we go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll, I'll move on. This has been a very long episode, so I'll make the next one a bit quicker. I apologise for that, and I will see you all a bit later.